SOC. Basically, SOC is a dedicated unit of the organization that actually employs people, process, and technology to be able to monitor and also in investigate and respond to cyber threats, right? So these are the functions of the SOC. So it's a very similar concept like in real world, when we have something valuable we want to protect, like our home or a bank or something like that, what do we do? We put CCTV, we put the security guard, right? We have a lot of, or we implement a lot of security controls to monitor and put alarms and all that to make sure that if something happened, we will get triggered and get informed about it. So it's a similar concept, right? SOC in the digital world is basically that kind of environment whereby they will be monitoring the traffic in and out of your organization 24 hours, seven days a week, right? If there is any potential threat or sign of a threat, they will actually investigate and respond accordingly, right? So these are the functions that actually make up the SOC. But not all SOC are the same, right? There's different tiers of SOC or Security Operations Center, right? So we have from tier one all the way to tier three. And all these different levels or different tiers actually have different things that they, capabilities that they can able to achieve. So the most basic one is tier one. So at tier one, basically you will have your triage specialist who's basically doing the gathering of the information, you know, get it, separating the all the alerts and seeing which one is the genuine one, which ones are the noise, you know, filtering all that, doing the volatility scanning and all that. But they cannot really do much beyond that scope, right? So at the tier two, we have the incident responder. So if the triage specialist or the tier one find something suspicious or something that needs to be taken action or further investigation, they will pass it to the incident responder, all right? So this incident responder will basically do further investigation and analysis. They will use like those threat intelligent tools, those uh, indicators of compromise, they will actually investigate further and they will respond accordingly. So the next level is tier three. So at tier three, tier three, we have the threat hunter, all right? So threat hunter is basically the most advanced level whereby you have the people that are able to do penetration testing, they're able to review the information provided to them by tier two, all right? And they can see whether they can able to do further investigation. And even in some cases, they can also detect or identify those kind of uh, threats that normally would evade the conventional tools, right? So those uh, threat evasion threats can actually be identified by the SOC uh, threat hunters. And the last level basically is the SOC manager who is overseeing all of them. 